we have learned before that if any enolate is reacted with an aldehyde or a ketone, then the aldo reaction takes place, the product is beta hydroxy carbonyl compound. Also, we have learned that 1,4 diketones and 1,5 diketones undergo intramolecular aldo reaction to give the corresponding alpha beta and saturated carbonyl compounds to give enones of ring sizes of um, 5 and 6 if 1,4 diketone or 1,5 diketones are used respectively. Um, we have learned also that enolates react with alpha beta and saturated carbonyl compounds in Michael addition, 1,4 addition, or conjugate addition to give 1,5 dicarbonyl compounds. What if um, we take an example or a situation or, or a reaction where there is a mixture of two reactions, if you like, a low reaction, for example, and Michael addition? Let's take an example of that type. If we take something like this, a one, one, three diketone, and the one three diketone is mixed with alpha beta, with an alpha beta and saturated carbonyl compound, and the mixture is treated with catalytic base, such as catalytic sodium ethoxide. What will happen is that the catalytic sodium ethoxide will make an enolate from this 1,3 diketone, and the corresponding enolate then attacks um, the alpha beta and saturated carbonyl compound. And of course, if you recall, that's Michael addition or 1,4 addition. So the first or the initial um, product that is obtained is actually this one. This 1, 5, uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 5 diketone. This is Michael addition so far. It's Michael addition. If the 1, 3 diketone is mixed with an alpha beta, and saturated carbonyl compound in the presence of catalytic base. This is a 1,5 diketone that is, that is obtained. Remember, it's catalytic base, so the 1,5 diketone in the presence of catalytic base will undergo intramolecular aldol reaction. And we have learned that, that before. So what will um, continue to happen is formation of an enolate here, which then attacks um, this ketone. This is a 1,5 diketone, if you, or 1,5 di, dicarbonyl compound, if you recall. And of course, 1,5 diketones in the presence of catalytic base undergo intramolecular aldo reaction. So, what should happen is that the aldo reaction takes place. Eventually, this product is obtained. where the enolate here, that's to be obtained, the enolate here attacks the other ketone in nucleophilic addition and aldo reaction to get beta hydroxy to, get, to give beta alk alkoxy carbonyl compound, which then gets protonated. And that beta uh, hydroxy carbonyl compound then undergoes elimination reaction subsequently to give the corresponding alpha beta and saturated carbonyl compound. Now, this is Michael addition, and of course, this is intramolecular aldol reaction, Michael addition, followed by intramolecular aldol reaction to give um, uh, an enone, uh, 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 a cyclized product, if you like, or a ring, and the reaction is called Robinson annulation. Now, Robinson annulation, therefore, involves Two reactions, Michael addition followed by, by intramolecular aldo reaction. Of course, the requirements here would be a presence of a, an, a hydrogen on this position, and of course, a presence of this ketone, and of course, alpha beta and saturated carbonyl compound. We will take more examples very shortly.